I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will explain you how to find equation of horizontal asymptote for any rational function. There are basically three cases and with the help of these six examples we will consider all the three cases. Question before us is find equation of horizontal asymptote if any for these equations. Now to find equation of horizontal asymptote we need to check the degree of numerator and that of denominator. So if there are three basic conditions here. So if degree of numerator, let's say numerator, is greater than degree of denominator, then as it is in, let us say this case, degree of numerator is higher than degree of denominator. Right. Degree of numerator is 3, degree of denominator is 2. So in this case, what happens? In this case, horizontal asymptote, let me write here, horizontal asymptote does not exist. So that is our case number 1. Okay. Now let's take another case and that is when degree of numerator is equal to degree of denominator. In that case, what happens? So those are the cases from here. For example, C. Degree of numerator is 1. Degree of denominator is also 1. In that case, we will have horizontal asymptote and the equation of horizontal asymptote will be y equals to ratio of leading coefficients. Right. So here, we have ratio of leading coefficients. So let me write down here horizontal asymptote is y equals to you can say ratio of leading terms then x and x will cancel we get 2 over 1 correct but better way is to write ratio of leading coefficients. So let me write here as ratio of leading coefficients, so let's say leading coefficient for LC, okay? And third case is when degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator, right? In that particular case, always, as in this case, numerator degree is zero, it's a constant, denominator degree is one, so degree of denominator is higher. In this case, always horizontal asymptote will exist and the equation will be y equals to 0. Correct? So we'll use this rule and write down equations for each one of these. Okay, so the first one is the case where degree of numerator is 0, degree of denominator is 1 and therefore equation of horizontal asymptote is what for us? It is y equals to 0. In the second case Degree of numerator is 2, of that of denominator is 3. So, degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator, correct? Just as it was here. So, here also, horizontal asymptote will be y equals to 0, okay? Now, in this case, we have same degrees. So let me change the ink. Same degrees, we'll do in this color. Same degrees, then it is the ratio of leading coefficients which is 2 over 1. So we'll have y equals to 2 over 1 or simplified as 2. Now in this particular case what we notice is degree of numerator is higher than that of denominator. Numerator degree is 3, denominator degree is 2. So that is the case number 1 for us. Numerator degree is higher then horizontal asymptote does not exist. right? So let me write in a different ink here. It does not exist. Right? So this is that particular case. E. The degree of numerator and denominator is exactly same. So when they are same, in that case we are looking for ratio of leading coefficients. So what are the leading coefficients? 5x to the power of 4 and minus 5x to the power of 4. So equation is y equals to 5 over minus 5. Right? Do not write 7 which is minus 1. So y goes to minus 1 is the horizontal asymptote. Okay. Now let's look into the last one. Here 
What is the degree of numerator? When you multiply 2x by 3x, you get 6x square, right? When you expand it, your leading coefficient will be 6x square. Now in the denominator, the leading term is minus x square. So let me write this time minus x square, the leading term itself. When you simplify, you get minus 6. So we do have a horizontal asymptote here and the equation is y equals to minus 6. Correct? So with this, I think it's very clear that if you are given a rational function, you need to compare the degree of numerator with that of the denominator. If degree of numerator is higher, then the horizontal asymptote does not exist, right? As is the case in D. If the degree of numerator and denominator are same, then the leading coefficient is ratio of, I mean, the horizontal asymptote is ratio of leading coefficients, right? So we have same degree in three cases here, and in all the three cases, ratio of leading terms. So 2x over x will give us y equals to 2, 5x to the power of 4 divided by minus 5x to the power of 4, 5 divided by minus 5 is minus 1. So y equals to minus 1 is the horizontal asymptote, right? So that is the horizontal asymptote, right? So these are horizontal asymptotes for us. And the last one is, you need to expand it. When you expand it, what do you get? 2x times 3x gives you 6x squared. So the leading term here is 6x squared. And in the denominator, the leading term is minus x squared. When you find the ratios, simplify it, it gets minus 6. So we have a horizontal asymptote whose equation is y equals to minus 6. I hope that's absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.